Sup everyone, Sankis here. Today we'll be taking a look at the Halo 75 V2 by Nuvi. Let's take a look. In the accessories box, comes with USB dongle, extra switches, queen one cooler, extra keycaps, and lastly, USB cable. Finally, the port. The one I have is the Ionic White with extra 4 colorways including Obsidian Black, Mojito, Blue Lagoon, and Sakura Fizz. Really cool names, not gonna lie. All of this starts at $130, including keycaps and your preferred switch. Hello 75, a 75% board, Hello top frame, and PC bottom casing. It comes with tri mode, Win Max support, and I really love the accent colors being added, like turquoise, orange, and yellow to make things pop a little. Bottom frame has the same accent too. Without flipping the two stage feet, we'll start at 5 degree typing angle. As compared to the V1, in terms of physical look, the keycap is still double shot PVT, but this time in MSA profile. The V2 offers gasket mount for a softer typing experience, south facing RGB, addition of homing bars that was introduced during the Gem 8D, new keys for Mac OS, new magnetic nameplate at the top right corner, and I believe they revealed the bottom casing to a translucent material, acting as an RGB diffuser. That's just some of it, but they are the main improvements from what I see. Apart from that, they have improved the polling rate and enabled QMK via a support which I believe to be a game changer to some of you. This board is screwless unlike the Gem 80, making it challenging to disassemble. Well, for me, I don't see the need to disassemble since it is a very well-made board out of the box. Anyways, in case you are interested on what's inside, it starts with palm plate, plate foam, switch pad and sound dampener above the PCB, PCB foam and bottom silicone beneath it. Aside from that, the keycaps as mentioned is MSA profile, Double shot PVT, the space bar is what they claim to be the ghost bar, which you can purchase separately. There is this sound absorber on the modifier keys, which is their main intention to quiet things down a little. The switch I have here is the main switch, which I really enjoy to type with. 37 grams, PC top housing with palm stem, and PA66 bottom housing. Previously, I had the Gem 80 with Raspberry switches. I personally recommend the main switch instead if you will be typing for long hours. Stabilizers are plate mount. I don't find it to be perfect, with very minor tick noise on the enter key. Other than that, it is still above average. Before proceeding further, let's have a quick sound test first. To be honest, the acoustics is very very similar to the Jam 8D. On the modifier keys like Spacebar has a more talky sound profile, which I really like. The Alphas on the other hand, I wouldn't say is talk, but still leans towards a deeper sound profile. Typing experience on the other hand, is soft just a little, despite being a gasket mount. Regarding the lighting, Nuvi claims to support Signal RGB for now, but if you decided to go with something simple, function left to switch the effect, function right key to change the color, function up down key to adjust the brightness. So who is this for actually? Yeah, I think if you have followed the keyboard community for a while, Nufi has definitely built up its reputation, and you will not go wrong with this one either. $130 might be on the higher end for some of you, but remember, this is an alu board, not a previewed plastic board like other brands, and trust me, Nufi makes very very high quality products. If you are looking for a 75% that ticks off the boxes in terms of feature, Halo 75 is a no-brainer and you will definitely stick with it for a long long time if you finally pull the trigger. That's all I have to say for now, leave your questions below if you have any, stop if you haven't and I will see you on the next one. Bye!